If you drag and drop iPhone recorded video onto the Premium Pro's timeline, Premium Pro would create a sequence based on the metadata of the video file. And you could see the quality of the colors is not very good. And then if you go to the export from the preview, you could see the video is very, very much overexposed. And then after exporting the video, you get the same highly exposed video. To fix it, select sequence, select sequence, settings click on the color management and then simply change the color setup to direct rec 709 sdr this should then automatically change the output color space to rec 709 expand the advanced options and then to further improve the color quality of your iphone's footage change graphics white override from 203 to 300 this will further stretch your brightness and contrast and make your iPhone's footage really pretty and then click on OK. Now if you would play the video in here you could already see the color quality has improved dramatically and now go to the export make sure preset is selected as match source adaptive high bitrate expand the video options, click on more, change the settings as needed, but most importantly, make sure HDR graphics white is changed to 300. In the preview, you could see the brightness is fixed. And now if you would export this video and open the output file, you could see now overexposed footage is now completely fixed. Tip, go to the sequence that we have changed, click on the three lines and then select create preset from sequence, give a name and and then click on OK and then next time don't directly drag and drop your iPhone footage on the timeline but instead click on file over your cursor over new and then select sequence expand the custom folder and then select this recently saved iPhone sequence and then drag and drop your iPhone footage to this sequence and then select keep existing settings. But to my surprise, the footage is still overexposed. And then if you would go to the sequence settings, color management tab and expand the advanced options. And once again, change the color setup to direct rec 709. This would then automatically change graphics white override to 203, change it to 300, click on OK and again, you could see too much brightness is gone. So just be aware that your saved preset won't work and you would always have to go back to your sequence settings and change manually.